Run, Dan, run! How's it going, Whovians? Welcome back. I'm Dusty Mac, and thanks for joining me on this TV reaction series. Today, we are continuing off with Doctor Who. This one's Series 13, Episode 2, War of the Sontarans. And I gotta say, that title sounds so awesome. Last time, we had a, a truly back to form episode although it was a little different just because it was the start of like a mini series it felt like it was the next five episodes all started up at the same time and i'm sure that the next five episodes we're gonna get you know a little bit of weaving in and out of you know the, from the first episode but i think we're gonna get like continuations from you know episode one obviously because it's a mini series so that's fucking stupid but you, i think you guys know what i mean right like it's it's going we're going to continue the stories that episode one started speaking of that <laughs> there's so much that went on uh we got introduced to a new companion by the name of dan uh, he works at like a, a food bank and he also loves his city of, uh, of Liverpool. Love the Beatles. Then he gets abducted by a mog, <laughs> uh, a Lupar, uh, by the name of uh, Kevin Ister. And basically like his species are soul bounded to humans, almost like the dragons from Rick and Morty. Oh, my soul. We also got the Santarans. We're, we're going to jump into on this episode. Uh, they just kind of came up and said, hey, the Flux has taken over the universe. We're going to take advantage of it because they are a species that loves war and bloodshed. What else? We also got the Weeping Angels and this new mystery companion named Claire. She got taken back by the angels. Kind of a stupid companion uh, so far uh, just because like she knew how the Weeping Angels worked and she was like rushing to get her keys and to get the, the key in the door. And she kept turning away. Like if you know how the Weeping Angels operate, why would you like not take your time, find your keys, feel around for the keyhole, and then like let yourself in and not blink before you shut the door? Can Weeping Angels pick locks? I, I don't know. Uh, so maybe she wasn't safe regardless. We also got that dude who looked like Killmonger and the outpost Rose. And also that uh, the mystery big bad of the season who's like a uh, made of minerals. I know I kind of thought I thought it was dumb last time that his sister had like glitter eyeshadow or whatever. But my brother actually uh, brought up the point that they're made of like minerals. Like you saw like the, uh, the crystal sticking out of their head. So that does kind of like... I mean, there's like rocks and shit that was shiny. So I, I get it. It's not as dumb as I thought it was. It's an odd choice, but I'm sure we're going to learn more about them and uh, why they look like, I don't know, glam rock geologists or something. <laughs> I feel like we're missing something else. Uh, obviously, the flux is destroying the, the universe and, uh, you know, gas giants. It's on its way to Earth. Uh, the Lupars are holding rank and trying to shield Earth. And that's where it kind of left us. The doctor hit the vortex energy off the TARDIS and it did nothing to the flux. So I don't know what the flux this could be. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys i'm just really excited to jump into this episode because it's new doctor who and i love this show uh so if you like this reaction please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and hit that little bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out usually every monday wednesday and friday and i also do some bonus videos and streams sometimes as well and uh if you want to support the channel financially the venmo and the patreon are down below yeah uh i guess that's about it so let's not waste any more time let's just jump right into this brand new episode of doctor who this one's doctor who series 13 Episode 2, Flux, The War of the Sontarans. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. The pressure of the BBC. <laughs> That's how you know you're a real hoobie. Immediately the doors are going to shut. Someone's going to save the doctor. Maybe Dr. Ruth? Oh, shit. Did she go to the void at the end of time with Loki? Is it the void? That's a liar. Where his lunch? Come on! Is it the void? That's a liar. Where his lunch? Come on! Oh shit! Is that the Weasley's house? Doctor! The Lupari shield worked, but the TARDIS took a hit. Get away from him! Empty in the pockets of the dead. I'm the doctor. This is Shaz. This is Dad. Doctor is a man's term. It's fluid. You are too close to the front to be with Mrs. Nightingale. Oh, Florence Nightingale? Oriented! I know where we are. Ottoman Empire weakening, British soldiers fighting Russians. What? That would make you Mary Seacole. Mrs. Seacole to you. Doctress to the fallen. Doctress? <laughs> How many Russian troops? They're not fighting Russians. Yeah. They're fighting Sontarans. How does she know what a Sontaran is? Sontaran! <laughs> yes! Song of my people! Woo! <laughs> Fucking love it. I love this intro, by the way. It's like my favorite intro. Followed closely by probably 12s. War of the Sontarans, baby. Another chibnal. Can you repair? His 
been a mass extinction event. The flux impacted the inner temple. The morning must never be compromised. Do you see? Do you see? Oh God, it reminds me of that South Park guy. This is me at Mount Rushmore. Do you see? Do you see? Yes, yes, I see. What the hell are they? This is my British hotel. Those Sontan and things, they're not part of history. Have you ever heard of them before? <laughs> There's history being rewritten. You seen that? Is that a teleport? Dad! No! Doctor! What the hell happened? Collision between flux and vortex energy. You're falling through space and time. I will find you. <laughs> that lady's like, where did they go? <laughs> Are we getting a new TARDIS interior? I mean, we're getting a new doctor soon, but... Let me in. Even the TARDIS isn't listening to her. Is that where the angel is? <laughs> Sorry about the answer, I can explain. Can you? How long has he been gone? Do the Zentarans like actually control the world now? What? Curfew. Oh, why? Yep. <laughs> that wasn't in Liverpool before, was it? <laughs> Jesus! Run, Dan! Run! Hell yeah! Back of the neck! Where the hell have you been? Oh, that's his parents? <laughs> oh, yes, is with Outpost Rose guy. Killmonger. So he's working... Oh! Obviously, the Santarans were there, like, before 1800s. What's the year? It's the year of our Lord, 1820. Do you remember nope. differently? Very differently. <laughs> All is broken. There's so much work to be done. All assistance is required. Can you repair? What would the doctor do? <laughs> That's exactly why I'm here. I gotta get one of those bracelets now. WWJD is like so 2000. It's all about WWTDD. <laughs> This is Lieutenant General Logan. I'm the Doctor. Please tell me you're not about to engage Sontarans in battle. I fought Sontarans before. Somehow I doubt that. Sontarans live for war, and they're very, very good at it. Do not engage. Madam, I am at work. I know. I can smell the rump. <laughs> How long have they been here? On Earth. They've always been here. They invaded in the past. Britain. There. Jamaica. Here. Still intact. Russia is... <laughs> is that Siberia? You both think that's normal. Russia? Where have I heard that before? In the past. An echo of another time. But if you're still retaining those memories of the truth, the disruption must be recent. Yeah, but that wouldn't be enough. <laughs> what does the doctor do when she doesn't have a companion next to her? She just talks to herself like she's a companion. The soldiers appear from directions unknown. You need my help. I have Queen and Katri on my side. That is all the help I need. Do you hear with you now, then? <laughs> Obviously not. Then our influence may be limited. <laughs> yes, doctor! My skills I give for free to all commas. Speaking of which. She helping Sotards? Oh, Hell yeah. More to destroy when I free myself, which will be soon. All life is sacred to me. He takes his rest seven and a half minutes every 27 hours. Sounds like Strax. Kind of looks like him too. The ultimate shame. Ambushed by a circular propellant. Cannonball in the back. <laughs> I bet that hurt. There is no such thing as pain. A little. <laughs> I will answer nothing. Where's your encampment? I assert my rights to silence mm. under section Cyan KZ9 slopes back of the Shadow Proclamation. No, you do, do Finally! You? I love when they invoke that shit. Information for your commander. What information? The Doctor, vanquisher and sworn enemy of the Sontarans, is in the Crimea. Where is the Doctor? Closer than you could possibly imagine. Yeah. <laughs> I accept your offer and pledge to end your life with maximum suffering. <laughs> I'd expect no less. Hurry along. <laughs> oh, I love when the doctor feels like the doctor. With any luck, it's going to lead us right to the location of the See, <laughs> don't turn around. Base camp. <laughs> Fucking stupid species. With a conjuring trick. Want to give it a go with me? Oh, shit. There's like eight ships there. Monitor this encampment. I can do that. You return to us, wounded, humiliated. I bring information, Commander. The Doctor is here. Wait, isn't Strax a nurse because of his, uh, his clone brood or something was humiliated? Is this that moment? You have done adequately. <laughs> I am shamed. The mercy of immediate execution be upon you. So he's gonna get 
like regrown, I guess, into a nurse. <laughs> when did he turn off here? Same day you vanished. The three minutes eclipse, and then bang, they were here. Whole world went to blackout. Must have been the Calvinistic ships. Did someone nick your house? Sort of. <laughs> you can knock them out with a frying pan. They've got this thing at the back of their neck. Let's go and have a look. An hour and a half with a doctor, and he's already investigating away from her. <laughs> I've had some experience in dealing with aliens. I'm going in. Take this one. And you have my bow. And my axe. <laughs> <laughs> He's not exactly stealth. Vendor of cast iron for Fox Fell. Ah, uh, your service. If we're going formal. Um, I'm Spider-Man then. Repair! Repair! Just been this fight. They called it the Flux. What do they want repairing? This. Do you even know what this place is? You said it's the Temple of Atropos, but it can't be. Temple of Atropos? I'm gonna need more information. All time passes through the movie. Before Atropos, time ran wild. The harness the movie would assign. Signed by who? Unavailable. Time runs through there? It must not break. Time must not be unleashed. You talk about time as if it was a force. Time is evil, and it will seek its own. So all of the time vortex runs through there then. That's why the t the vortex energy did nothing to the flux. Spying is treason. If you have any words, keep them to yourselves. Temporal offensive is near. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have gone there alone. That's a sonic screwdriver. <laughs> ah, stop doing that! That's <laughs> so fucking gross. Take your hat off, mate! Second thoughts, put it back on! <laughs> Information regarding the doctor. You're talking to her. You deceived my soldier. It wasn't difficult. <laughs> behind the flux. The neither of our making are our control. We timed our attack before the Lepari shield took effect. This planet has defied us ever since the great commander Link's first sticked his claim. Earth shall be an outpost of the Centauran Empire. No, it won't. Why here? I wanted to ride a horse. <laughs> Leave this planet now, and you get to leave alive. There will be no battle. I speak on behalf of all of humanity. This woman does not speak for the British Army. I speak for more people than you could possibly imagine. Don't be a fool. You speak for no one, Doctor. Not even your pitiful self. What a fucking idiot. That guy is going to die so horribly. I accept your offer of a massacre. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that's that's cute. That's adorable. You're gonna be very brightly colored corpses here in a second. <laughs> wow, that's really fucking cool. He's the lucky one. He's not in that battle. <laughs> yes, this is devastating as you're imagining. <laughs> Oh, some Venusian Aikido or whatever? <laughs> That's really cool. They put so much fucking effort into this. Oh. I remember this. It's their ship? Passenger. We are three. Who the fuck is that guy? Come here. Death. More powerful than before. Yep, that's the look of utter defeat. You deserve this. I couldn't stop them. You're gonna be very busy by day's end. Excellent work. Stop doing the tongue thing, dude. That's just so gross. Why do those people always survive? They always survive or turn into the bad guy. <laughs> Pretty sure that was a callback too, right? Because he had to do the whole Spock thing. Nice shot, Doc. Get in. <laughs> I haven't seen any of the potato heads yet. Live long and prosper, Dan. <laughs> Is it bad to press things? Don't let anybody know that I'm here. Dan! Where are you? Still in the cranium. Where's Jazz? I don't know. The Medusa Cascade. Rose Tyler, Martha Jones, Donna Noble, Tardis. Oh, Doctor, you're so handsome. Yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> 
obsession with Japanese food. Temporal command. Could it could it have been temporal command? As in time. Oh yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> filming everything I've got out. I can access the Sun Power databanks plus everything that's on your phone. Including my photos. Oh, and delete your internet history. <laughs> what do you got on your phone, Dan? They're building time ships so they can invade Earth's history. You better make sure you stop it. Is that Mary Seacole? Hey, Mary. <laughs> you have to stop those ships leaving. Facing the wrong transmissions. Oh, shit. Halt, intruder. I was just looking for the pair of Human presence shall result in execution. Just a tourist. That's your boss. There he is. <laughs> Good on you, Dan. Pan fried Santorin. <laughs> now I'm gonna walk right out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking for the pair, Ed. <laughs> Is he gonna try it again? Oh shit, I don't think they're that stupid. Can you repair? Yes. You got identification? Very good, Yasmin Khan. Does the doctor know you're out in the slave by yourself? I don't think we've met before. Such linear creatures. That message in the palm of your hand no one knows about. What would the doctor do? How could you know that? Ooh. Did she choose you? Any of you? Were they, like, both companions a past doctor abandoned? Were you hoping this could be your redemption? <laughs> Try me. <laughs> Stop, it will work. I'm a seer. This is Swarm. Translations, but they'll do. They've been quantum locked against us. You are identified. You are forbidden from the temple. You underestimated us, you pathetic temporal hags. Pointless lives have led you here. Too already broken. Shall I repair? You don't know what you're doing. I think they know a little bit more than you, Yaz. I'm getting to you. Ready? Where are you at, Lupari? Ready? I don't think so. Yes! I've still got a human in this fight. <laughs> You're welcome, idiot. <laughs> Soldiers pay the price for their commander's mistakes. In wars past and wars present. Help me. I'm gonna need a pointy stick. We, on the other hand, have a pointy stick. <laughs> they all go back into their ships. The suits only have a limited capacity. They have to be refilled. The ships aren't just transport. They hold their supply. Like horses replenishing their nose bags. The hell's a nose bag? What we're gonna do is empty their ships. Might need some of your men to help. Does he have any men left? They have nothing in the tanks, they gotta leave. Divert this gas into this chamber and it will render the supply feed inert. Got it? Is this how global warming starts? <laughs> what is happening? Supply levels dwindling to critical, unable to refill armor. <laughs> Is that useless weapon? It's a what? You look ridiculous. <laughs> the bloke with the floppy ears. <laughs> so even they have time travel technology? The Sontaran attack force snuck through. I got the blame, as usual. I've got a plan. I intercepted the transmissions. It's not your plan. So don't pretend you're clever. I'm taking off. I understand you're having a problem with your supplies. Sabotage! Sabotage! <laughs> now, retreat. That word shall never pass my lips. We shall make a strategic withdrawal. <laughs> In the road, Skak. That was a very doctor way of dealing with them. Very quick to the point, but like, genius. Creating a massive temporal reaction. All the Santanas on Earth out of existence. It's an escape pod down the corridor. Just <laughs> some terrible shots. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to show about Kevin Easter and Dan. Get down there! <laughs> they fell from such a high. And that shockwave alone would still kill them underwater, not to mention the explosion. No further bloodshed. I must disabuse you of that. Realistically, shouldn't that have, like, not done anything for those ships? It was full of men I lost today. For your guilt, you mean? Men like you make me wonder why I bother with humanity. I am grateful that you do. I have to go. I hope we meet again. The TARDIS came to her. What is this thing happening to you? What was in that tube? It was the waste tube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wet dog smell. Oh, 
Away she comes. Now the hard work's been done. <laughs> we got rid of the Sontarans. I worked it all out by myself until Scooby Doo here tried to take. <laughs> Need your people to stay protecting this planet while I'm away. You wanna come? Okay. The loop party will stay, shield in the planet. I hope I never see you again. Feelings mutual. <laughs> Spin off, please. Oh shit. You were here a second ago. Something's corrupt in the TARDIS. Oh. It looks like a cocoon. We're being hijacked. Oh shit. We're about to hear that music pretty soon, aren't we? The special temporal readings are at zero, which is impossible. At last. In a long time. These are the Mori, Doctor. In the Temple of Atropos. On the planet Time. There is no planet called Time. Yet here we are. <laughs> the Mori are failing creatures who hold time in this universe together. Time is beginning to run wild. A needle stuck on a record. Could really harm a TARDIS. Made a short term repair. Yeah, it's talking there. Try to rescue them and we'll reduce them to ash. Will you count? Five. It's what I'm about to do, Doctor. Three. When I click my fingers, time will blast through them. How many seconds will their bodies take before they die? Two. You don't have to do this. Tell me what you want. One. All in good time. <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's where it's gonna fucking end. Oh. Wow. That was a fucking episode, right? All right, everybody, that was Doctor Who Series 13, Episode 2, Flux, War of the Sontarans. <sighs> Damn. Uh, I just want to talk about the ending really quickly because that felt almost like an uh, like a, a classic era like Omega level threat, not just like an Omega level threat, but like Omega, you know, like that one dude who was from like the alternate timeline or something. I've only seen it once probably like, I don't know, five, six years ago now, but Omega was like, I think he was like a boogeyman for like the Time Lords. But this dude seems like he knows, well, obviously he knows so much more than the doctor right now just because she's had her memory wiped out for so long. There's this this temple, Temple of Atropos on the planet Time. And this is where like, I'm assuming, because they said this is where all time funnels into. So I'm assuming that like the, the time vortex is channeled through the the mori and they they control the flow of time i guess is what i'm guessing and since a couple of them were were glitching out that's why the doctor said there was glitches time is beginning to become fractured and that's what the the flux is and then swarm just straight up like killed that one so it's even more fractured now and then he put yaz and uh i just wrote his name down what's his name vinder she put uh yaz and vinder in place of them but they're just obviously human so they can't well i don't know what vinder is i'm assuming Fender's human, uh, but they put them in place of the Mori and uh, they're basically just going to get used up like cheap batteries or something. So I'm going to guess that the doctor's going to at least push Yaz out of the way and take her spot in the next episode. But that quant, that, well, then they're not quantum locked because the other one, the Mori were, right? But Yaz wasn't because she was talking. I don't know. That opened up so much lore. Like just this is the place where time originates or funnels through or something about time happens here on the planet time. Is it the origin of time? Is this the first planet to ever exist? I, I don't know. Um, and then also we saw that in uh, in the TARDIS when she got in there, there was like that, that venom looking cocoon or something. I, I don't. I don't know. I'm so confused. And I love being confused on this show because it has just been kind of by the books the last you know few years. Even the last couple years of Moffat, some of the stuff has just been like, I expect this to happen and it happens and I'm happy. But this is like, this is like overreaching lore that we're getting here. And it's actually good lore so far. I'm sure it's gonna tie into the Timeless Child somehow, but so far it's 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 setting something up that I am kind of all for. Then obviously the entire episode is all about the Santarans and uh, we had that general guy, the Lieutenant. Is Lieutenant kind of the same thing as uh, like a Lieutenant? I don't know if it's like a British slang, but I've never heard of Lieutenant before. But yeah, we had that dude who was like all proud and he was like, I'm gonna fight them and blah, blah, blah. And then he gets massacred and he survives, of course because of course he survives then you know he actually goes to the doctor for help but he had uh ulterior motives as the Santarans were escaping he just blew him up which i don't know if like gunpowder would blow up their ships i don't know maybe one but like i i don't know it definitely did have a feel of like when when harriet jones shot that ship out of the sky and don't you think she looks tired so that was kind of shitty they were they were retreating but you know they're Santarans. they will be back so definitely wasn't the right thing to do but it also kind of wasn't the wrong thing because you know just like harriet jones told you know 10 back in the day 
you're not always here. Sometimes they gotta fend for themselves, but again, she's trying to show them a better way, and humanity, like, almost gets there, but then they're like, ah, this is easier, and they just blow them up. But the Santarans were great in this. The battle they had with the humans was really cool. It looked really good, too. It didn't just look like just a bunch of blocky formations hitting each other. Like, there was, like, a lot of uh, moving parts within that, and it looked really good. I actually kind of felt nervous for Yaz, which is crazy, because I am i don't like Yaz. She's, like, my least favorite companion. When she, like, especially when he touched her face, and I was like, I thought, like, if he touched or got even close to you that you just disintegrate but I guess he can turn it on and off or whatever but yeah I got nervous for Yaz and she was actually a decent companion in this you know she had her own little adventure and uh that was I liked her in this one Dan I felt he was a little too brave just from like getting captured and escaping with the doctor he's like oh cool I can infiltrate this enemy army right now but uh it was fine he was really cool and uh funny he had a lot of good lines in it uh and his parents popped up just a really good episode about the Santarans taking advantage of this uh cataclysm to you know get one up on the doctor because she's like their biggest uh adversary and being able to like infiltrate throughout time I just think that was really well done and the Santarans of course look really cool and I like the overall resolution to like the conflict about them just like taking out their uh their supply you know over Overall, another really solid episode of Doctor Who. So Chibnall, I give you the, the Whovian round of applause. How about that? <laughs> Anyway, guys, what did you guys think about this episode? Let me know in the comment box down below. And if you like this reaction, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And hit that little bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out. Usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I also do some bonus videos and streams sometimes as well. Yeah, and if you guys want to support the channel financially, the Venmo and the Patreon are down there. And I guess that's going to be about it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Remember, if you're going to go outside, please wear a mask. Don't be an ass. And I will see you all next week for some more Doctor Who. Take it easy, guys. I speak for more people than you could possibly imagine.